Okay, right, so what I'm using now is the pencil to try and measure um, Gemma's head and get the proportions right as I transfer that information across her body to draw uh, a representation of Gemma here. So what I'm going to do first is line up the top of my pencil here with the top of Gemma's head here. And then I'll bring my thumb down until it's in line with Gemma's chin. That then becomes one unit. See, from the head to her chin. I will then take that unit, put the top of the pencil underneath her chin, and then where my thumb is, is then exactly one head down from Gemma's chin. I can also then take that angle again, measure the pencil at the top of her head, move my thumb down to her chin, and turn it 90 degrees so it's now horizontal. If I line that up then with the middle of Gemma's chin, and I'm seeing again where my thumb is, I can see that her shoulders are less than one head from out from her head. I can also do that the other side. From her chin, one shoulder out, and from this angle, her shoulders are just about the same. I can also then use the pencil again as what I call an angler to try and work out the angles to use from her shoulders. So, if I line my pencil up with her shoulder line there, I can see what angle that is. So we've got that one unit measurement to transfer across there. We've got this measurement here, and we've also got this measurement here. Where those three lines merge on my paper, that's where we know to draw her shoulder.